Alex again. Um, I've got a bit of a love for DIN rail stuff. Um, some of them are really smart little machines which had to be done either mechanically or or some other method in the past which would make it rather difficult to uh, do it in such a small package. I mean, this one here is a programmable relay. I'm going to do an actual separate video on this one because this is actually worth having a separate video done. It's fully programmable on this little 16x4 LCD um, and you can program timers, all sorts. You've got eight inputs, four outputs along the bottom, eight amp relays each, just uh, uh, normally open. Um, I want to say I'll do a video on that one as well and also yeah that this one's a bit dangerous it does run straight off that but I have connected it very nicely I've uh, tinned and soldered the leads as they probably should all the insulation is intact um, but the uh, refridge controllers um, I did a video on these ones a while ago um, and I thought its twin was dead you can't really see it on there maybe but the screen actually looks like it's half burnt um, and I was a bit sus on it, um, so I'm going to power it up and uh, show you what I found. Okay guys, while well, I powered it up, and uh, as you can see, the screen looks real dodgy, like it's only sort of half visible. Um, I'll shut it up. Um, anyway, it's currently saying that there's an error with the uh, temperature sensor because it's not hooked up, it's still on that one. I do actually have a couple more temperature sensors luckily and I'll get to the original end of this project but I just discovered that uh, this screen just pops off with a bit of uh, care and to my amazement and luck it's only dust and shit um, I actually thought this thing might actually have a blown uh, element or LCD or whatnot but just a quick 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 like that rub 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 and there's actually an infrared sensor in there I wonder if they communicate can be communicated with by infrared and programmed and the inside of the cover nice and clean I get that around the right way Alex click back in there we go screen is not dead now what I plan to do is because I've got two units and four temperature sensors I'm actually going to put a DIN rail up on the wall and uh, then I'm going to mount both of them on that DIN rail. I have one temperature sensor on the roof inside and one uh, under a specially designed box outside so the sun temperature won't affect it, only you'll get the air temperature. And uh, that's the next stage in this project. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, shouts out to all the boys. Play it safe and have a good one.